thank you everyone for joining us today. We're so excited to have all of you on this um, call today to, to speak in Arabic and learn from each other and, and hopefully inspire each other in, in your journeys to learning Arabic. Um, we'll begin with classroom introductions. I'd love to give each school uh, the chance to introduce yourselves to, to those of us on the call. And then the Nisley students have prepared a presentation that for all of us that they will give. And then we'll spend the rest of the time in q and A. I I think we'll, we'll, we'll go back and forth between the classrooms um, and asking questions. And Nisley students, you all are encouraged to ask questions of, of the students in attendance. And hopefully we'll have a, a rich and um, an inspiring conversation. So let's begin with um, Eagle Rock with your classroom introduction. Can you see? They, they should ask them if they can see us. Uh, can you see us? Yes, we can see and hear you. Sabah al-khair. Ana ismi Siomara wa omri sabah ta'ashar sana. Ana ismi Monika wa omri sabah ta'ashar sana aida. Nahnu tullab fi al-madrasat Eagle Rock al-Thanawiya. Al-Saf, aida na hawa al-Hamsa wa thalathun talib. Naskun fi Medina Los Angeles fi Balad America. Nahnu fi Badnamash International Baccalaureate. Wa sanadhab al-Jamiyat fi September. Thank you. Eagle Rock, we we'd love to hear your introduction. I'm sorry, Bell Magnet. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Great to meet you all. Uh, Nisley students, the floor is yours. Assalamu alaikum. Nahnu tula min barnamash Nisli. Wa Nisli minha min al-hukum al-amrikiya li ta'alim al-loha al-arabiya fi al-awam al-arabiya. Wa al-an naskunu fi al-maghrib fi Medina Tarabat. Wa sana tahadithu qalilan an hayatina huna. 
او نن تقديم نا السلام عليكم انا اسمي كاليون انا من مدينة ملواكي من ولاية وسكانسن سادروس في جامعة مورهاوس كوليج في مدينة يا سلام انا اسمي ماجدلين انا من مدينة روتشستر في ولاية نيويورك وسادرس في جامعة كولومبيا بريطانيا في مدينة فانكوفر Salam, Anna Esmi Lillian, and I'm in Willis, North Carolina. Oh, okay. Uh, Salam alaikum. Uh, Esmi Daniel, or Daniel. <laughs> uh, and I'm in the Chicago, but I'm in the University of Yale, and I'm in the Senate of Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. Oh, I will <laughs> learn. Um, I will learn. Uh, I will learn. Uh, I will learn. Uh, I Uh, I بصفوف متقسمة حسب حسب مستوىنا اللغوي وندرس يوميا بأربعة أربعة ساعات من يوم الاثنين إلى اليوم الجمعة وكل كل الأيام أستاذتنا يتحد يتحدون في اللغة ب في تنوع الأنشطة ونتعلم كعدد العبارات ومفردات وعمق القواعد في اللغة العربية الفصحى وأيضا عندنا الفرصة الخاصة لتدرب باللغة في أو مع عائلتنا المستضيفة ومع شركة اللغة أو شركة اللغة وحتى أصدقاء مغارب مغاربة أو أصدقاء أنا أسف وحتى مع أصدقاء مغاربة نتعارف عليهم خلال زمن زمن عيشنا في اللغة وفي ومطلوبة البرنامج أيضا تضم مشروع بحثي كابستون التي الذي نستطيع أو الذي نحتاج إلى إكمالها في نهاية نهاية السنة أو نهاية سنة الدراسة وهذا ال مشروع يتناول أي موضوع مخدار به بنا مثلا أنا بحثت عن المدن العتيقة عبر المغرب وأهمية وأهميتها الثقافية وأيضا صعوبات في محافظة في المحافظة عليها إذا كانت عندكم أي أسئلة أو أي سؤال عن الدراسة هنا فإن سأتمنى أن تسؤلنا أو تسؤلنا بعد الدكتور
Salam, Dhamma Sangha. Salam. Um, في المغرب أو ستحدث عن حياة في الرباط. Um, so I live uh, هناك um, أماكن مختلفة um, لتذهب لت, uh, إيها um, ممكن uh, السينما والمطام um, والبحر ومدينة كنيما ودايا um, في هذا الصورة yeah. um, ويوم um, مفضل uh, في مفضل في um, رباط يوم الثاني um, هناك الكاريوكي في um, متحة رنسانس um, yeah, و um, إذا كنت um, تدرس في الخرج um, أخرى um, uh, تكوين um, أستكايت um, في المغرب um, فيه طريق جيد جيدة لاستكشف um, المدينة أكثر و و يا أم أصدقائي يا أصدقائي و هي برنامج و أصدقائي يا أم البحر يا أشاطي و هي أو أم بابل هاد في مدينة كنديما يا Um, و العيش مع أسرة مغربية مستضيفة الذي أكتن في المغرب أكبر أكتف في المغرب اسمها نايمة أمرها ثلاثة وعشرين و باسما اسمها باسما وامرها ام تستاشر ام وماما حفيدة ام اب في اب مغربي مات منذ سنتين في جيش ام الله يرحمه و و نعم ام في عيد الميلاد نايمة وأنا جالنا منزل الهالو يا هالوي هذا وهذا كوسكوس و يا وقت صافي وهذا نايمة و ماما حفيدة و نايمة حبيبي حبيبها وهذا من نفس البنان من نفس البنان شكرا سلام في المغرب نحب الأكل كثيرا وهناك تنوع كثير في الأكل المغربي بسبب أثيرات الثقافة المختلفة مثلا الأمريكية والعربية والفرنسية والإسبانية وعدد المعكولات تختلف من منطقة إلى أخرى um, هناك سلوك مختلف uh, الأكل قليلا في المغرب عن في أمريكا um, وعادة واحدة التي أحتاجنا أن نعتاد عليها كانت الأكل باليد وباستعمال الخبز um, uh, أشهر وجبة في المغرب ووجبتي المفضلة هي كوسكوس وكل يوم الجمعة المغاربة يتجمعون في البيت مع العائلة لأكله وجو هذه العادة جميل جدا بالنسبة لي وبالإضافة إلى كوسكوس هناك طاجين ونأكل طاجين للغداء أو للشاء و يتكون من الخضروات واللحم وفي الإياد كثير من المغاربة يأكلون باستيلا وباستيلا تتكون من الدجاج وسكر واللوز والقرفة وأيضا 
من السمك في الحقيقة المغاربة يعبرون حبهم من خلال الأكل ودائما هم كرماء ومستضيفون جدا الآن أريد أن أشرح لكم الرحلات الثقافية التي فعلنا في المغرب أولا زرنا مدينة فاز وفي فاز هناك 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 أقدم جامعة في العالم لكن لا أتذكر الاسم كاروين وبعد فاز زرنا مدن أخرى مثل مراكش وإرشبيا وشفشاون ودار البيضة وعندما نزور مدن أيضا دائما نريد أن أن نرى الحياة في العريف قريب من المدن مثلا ذهبنا إلى بلدة ماسكي وإلى بلدة نزل بن يمر وفي هذه البلد يمكننا أن نرى حياة مختلفة من الحياة في في الرباط وفي المدن في المغرب لأن هناك معقولات مختلفة في هذه في هذه المناطق نعم ما ما ال ما الرحلة قبل الرحلة تعلمنا كثيرا عن الأكل والثقافة لأن ليس هناك ثقافة واحدة في المغرب ولكن هناك ثقافات كثيرة في كل المناطق هنا هذا كل شيء منا كل الأشياء هنا عندنا وسيل تواصل الاجتماعي إذا أردتم أن ترون ما في الإنترنت أو في أمديس هذا إنستغرام نسي ربات هذا إنستغرام برنامجنا وإذا عندكم أسئلة تفضلكم شكرا شكرا جزيلا Thank you so much, um, <laughs> Shukran. Um, so now we'll move into the Q and A portion of this event. Um, so I, so let's we can kind of uh, go back and forth, rotate. So, um, who's asking questions? Um, but uh, let's begin with Eagle Rock. Uh, would you like to start, kick off our Q&A portion of the event? The question can be in English, by the way, if you want. Whatever you prefer. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> Questions, write them down. Marhaba, it's me, Sofian. Mada Tafalun fi Wakat al Fera. Once I'm far out. Three times. What do you do for your kids? Um. أذهب إلى كاريوكي أو سينما أو مطعم أو لوحة، ما تحب كذا يعني، يا دايما. ما أعرف كثير ما عائلة ما ما أدري. أيضا في برنامجنا عندنا تدريب مع منظمة متنوعة. Um, مثلا um, كان عندي تدريب في الطب في السيدة والآن عندي تدريب في uh, 
Ататур, Адаулия, Ататур, Адаулия. Вот. Magnet, do you have a question for the Nisley students? Uh, also, Nisley students, do you guys want to stop sharing your screen so we can make the videos larger? Awesome. Hassan. 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 انجليزي او العربي يلا السؤال اساله يا يلا من ما قالوا هم منين سؤال اخر سؤال <laughs> but they can hear you. We're not on mute. بالنسبة لي هذا السؤال صعب قليلا لإجابتها أو إجابته لأن لأني بدأت بدأت دراستي في اللغة العربية منذ تقريبا أربع سنوات في في دراسة نوية ولكن جربت صعبت كثيرا في تنظيم هذا الصف فقط بسبب تغير في في توظيف المسافر في مدرستي ولكن انا بدرست ادرس دول عربيه منذ سبع شهور عندما وصلت إلى المغرب. وأنا أيضاً ما تحدثت أي شيء بالعربية قبل أن ذهبت إلى المغرب والآن أدرس اللغة العربية لسبعة شهور. سلام 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 في ألفين 
اتس اوكي معلش هل هل وجدتم او قابلتم صعوبات لتعلم اللغه العربيه الدارجه كافي نيكست كويشن نعم نعم في رأينا القواعد العربية مجنونة هناك العربية الفصحى في المدرسة في أمديس وفي الشوارع وفي البيت نتكلم بالعربية المغربية الدارجة. أريد أريد أن أضيف أن بالنسبة لي استراحة الناتج عن مستوى مستواكم في اللغة العربية الفصحى دائما دائما ستجربون صعوبات في اللغة فقط بسبب عمق أو عمق 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 قواعد اللغة وتنوع واسع المفردات دائما سؤال من إنجو روك تفضل في الجامعة في الجامعة في الجامعة الإسلام I have to say in English how how do they choose a new like a Sunni Islam how do they choose a new Imam like let's say he dies or like retires or something how do you choose a new one yeah. I've always wondered how that works. So there's um, a ministry for education and foreign affairs and Islamic, Islamic uh, like affairs. affairs and stuff. And the Islamic, the Islamic affairs um, appoints a ministry. Uh, they appoint a uh, new imam. Oh, okay. Yeah. In Morocco. In Morocco. Um, yeah. So you have questions about in English. It's okay. It's all about the program itself. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> English. So my English, my Arabic is not nearly as good as your guys. So I'm just going to talk to you guys. In it's okay. Yeah. I just want to know about your life in Arabic. Life in Morocco. Yes, I'm sitting there. Uh, in English? In English? Yeah. Okay, listen. <laughs> so we have four hours of Arabic every sorry. I'm emotional. We have um four hours of four hours of Arabic a day. Um five days a week, but on Wednesdays we don't. Um and then what else do we do? We have internships. We have internships on Wednesdays that we go to. Um like my internship, I teach English to about twenty um 12 to 18 year old boys in a uh, group home and then like I worked in uh, an HIV AIDS organization and now I'm with an organization that works in international development. I worked with Farlian organization. I did a couple of, uh, I, oh oops, um, I now I'm helping out more with uh, a cancer association for um, older women, it's, it's a local thing, so we just kind of keep them entertained. Mm -hmm. um, and for a while, uh, I've been teaching English to just mm -hmm. some local language things, which is all I can do. Yeah. yeah. And then after, like we have, uh, we like like I said earlier, we go to like different um, events throughout the year. Mm -hmm. There's like music festivals and things like that. Um, there's always street music. Go to the ocean. Mm -hmm. Spend a lot of time in cafes. Mm -hmm. We travel a lot too. Yeah, yeah we, we travel like we travel around every. Around. We have like a lot of cultures. Yeah, I saw the photos. You guys travel a lot in like the actual Middle Eastern areas. It's yeah. Oh, in Morocco, 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 not Morocco, oh, not everywhere. Morocco is not in the Middle East. Morocco is not in the Middle East. We're in Africa. It's in North Africa. 
Right, I guess I don't know my geography at all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. so you guys are like major in Arabic, basically. You major in this language when you guys were like studying in Yale and Columbia and stuff like that? Wait, no, wait, wait, we're high school. <laughs> we just graduated. Okay, cool. So wait a second, but when you guys were in college, what did you guys study? We were, we're never. Gone we haven't gone to college yet. We're on a gap year. We're on a gap year right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard like you guys went to Yale or something. So, yeah. Okay. So with the program that we're on, you when you're I guess I have a bunch of that was super <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Questions about we're talking. Mm -hmm. One second. S since we are talking about immigration, <laughs> 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 high school, I, they're studying the whole. That question. Hey, somebody has a question here. Right here. <laughs> Yella. Go. Your ends. Formulate your question. Okay, wait. Okay. Go. Um, as you were saying, you're not in college yet. Like, it's your gap year. Like, can you kind of talk about that? Because I still don't understand how. Elaborate. 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 Elaborate in between high school and college gap year. And we come here for nine months. And when you're awarded a scholarship with Nisli, you can pick from many different languages. And Arabic is just among them. And they're all languages that the government considers to be really important in foreign diplomacy and affairs. And so you can pick from Chinese, Korean, Arabic, among a lot of other ones. No. And so, um, that's why we're really dedicated to just learning Arabic and learning about Moroccan culture and becoming immersed in the culture. And, um, yeah, so we're not all majoring in Arabic. We have people who are going to be studying engineering and economics and um, acting, many different things. Um, and we all have a common love of Arabic and uh, yeah, that's our specialization here. Yeah, you have to be between 16 and 18 years old whenever the program starts. Oh, 14? no, yeah, no, because... 16 when it starts. Um, and so it's not just a gap year thing. Like, for instance, I'm a senior in high school right now, um, but everyone else in the program is gap year. So it kind of just depends on where you are and when you decide to apply. And if you didn't know the Delta summer program, so you don't yeah. have to... You, have you don't have to do this summer. <laughs> so um, so um, uh, Daniel and I have done the summer program. So he did the summer in Jordan for six, uh, six weeks, and then I did the summer program in... Uh, Morocco for six weeks in 2017 and then we reapplied to the academic year and mind you this is a full scholarship with the government so it's like it's free. free it's we free get and we get we get paid every month to like study Arabic and live here it's a great yeah it's a great gig yeah and you make friends with the year program a lot better mm -hmm. and friends yeah. are a good way outside of the program and outside of the classroom to actually practice mm -hmm. like learn dialect and all that Yes, that, that, I think dialects are hugely important to talk about in Arabic. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can. Why did you guys decide to learn Arabic? Um, because they have questions. Question. Okay. Okay. So, what? Your question. Hey, go rock. You want to go first? Why did you decide to learn? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I joined I joined the DP program at our school, and that was the language I was offered. And then also, I really enjoyed the language, and I thought it was interesting, so I continued doing it after. Um, yes. Can I this? Yes. Okay. Um, well, Arabic isn't really a language that's spoken that much in our community, and so I at least wanted to kind of be immersed in like a different culture that I'm not familiar with at all. And I just thought it'd be really cool to do that, especially with the new language. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, 
So, um, I, 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 I don't, I didn't choose to take Arabic. I asked if they could offer it at the school. Oh, really? Yeah. Heavy metal music. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Awesome. Metal music, the type of music, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. Follow up. Uh. 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 Farka metal machibia. <laughs> oh, do you know any like? Can you like? Do you know any like awesome metal bands from Morocco that I could listen to? Um, for more. Yeah, we're not gonna give him. No, I was closer to Reagan. I do know one. Oh God. I know one from Bahrain. From Bahrain. We can send it. We can tell your teacher once our coordinator figures that out because she knows a few. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll, we will get back to you at the end of the presentation because she's looking at it right now. Okay. Yep. Uh, somebody asked a question. Okay. Oh no, you had they had a question for you. So, what was the question? One more time, uh, Masjidin. Uh, why did you choose to speak Arabic to learn Arabic? Arabic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, there are there are different uh, opinions. As you see, we have native speakers and non-native speakers. So we'll start with the native speakers. Who would like to start? Why are you studying Arabic? Native speakers. Okay. okay. So the question that you get, because we are Arab, our parents put in the program. No, it's some, some of the... We were raised with the Arabic language, but we're not very strong with the... Like, uh, Academic yeah. grammar. Yeah. 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 So we've taught like language and uh, not, what is it? Amir. 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 Because I tried them in Spanish, but then I thought it should be a bit complicated. So, where is the Arabic? Like a little bit on my transcript. Why would you do it? Like a mini transcript. Interesting. Question number two. Were you able to hear the answers? No. Three. Three. So. One one answer was that um, some wanted to improve the academic language. The students are raised, uh, you know, at home. They speak the Lebanese, the Levantine uh, Arabic, uh, but in school they are learning the, the academic al fusha. We mm. don't focus much on al qawaid because they will drive you crazy. So, <laughs> So the idea, yes, the idea is the communicative style, communicative, communicative mode, and help the comprehension, the reading, and so on. Al-Qawaid, you will, you know, unless you are, a, like for you guys, 
you are going into it that that's that's you probably start that you're going to be doing in the future uh so we'd like to to for them to love the language first then we'll talk about qawaid later that's that's very important for the uh, another another answer was also there's not a lot of uh, opportunities for students to study arabic outside of school like uh, like in high school anyways there are some but uh, not as uh, you know, as for example in high school, mm -hmm. uh, non-native speakers, and also we have in California now, if you study Arabic for four years, you get a seal of biliteracy, uh, which is an added stamp to your graduation. And for you non-native speakers, what are the reasons of learning Arabic? Why did you learn Arabic? Cassidy? Shirley? Yalla. Very good. Did you hear that answer or no? Yeah. Not at all. Uh, her answer her answer was uh, that she grew up in a, like a Spanish and English speaking environment. When she got to high school and uh, took Arabic, she found it very appealing and she uh, she continued with it. This is her third year. And hopefully, inshallah, next year we'll have her fourth year. Inshallah. Inshallah. Any other questions? I mean, uh, do you have any more questions for them? Yeah, we said. Nah. Yeah. Menin and Tafan Yeah. مرحبا بكم في المغرب Oh, that's, that's it. This is the thing. But no, yeah. no, I don't no. know if it'll work. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> let's, let's go to the <laughs> <intro. laughs> <laughs> This is um the stop share. Stop share. <laughs> this is the festival um the boulevard any questions I think they uh, they sent it to uh, to uh, they put it on the chat. Uh, your teacher should be giving you the the link. I I could give it. Shukran. Yes. Turn up that metal. What 
what advice would you give students in terms of traveling abroad, or traveling to Morocco specifically? Like, especially they are your age. What would you recommend? What would you suggest? What would you give them for uh, advice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Best advice I have is try and make friends, like not just American friends, but Moroccan friends, because uh, that's really what's going to make the uh, time here really stick with you once you're back home, uh, is the people you have friends on Facebook and who you still communicate with and who you can still practice dialect with, because there is a way to practice the dialect. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and it'll keep it in your head, right? When you're studying plus high, maybe in university or something. And, not as much dialect anymore. So I would recommend that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a good way to actually be in the country rather than uh, in your bubble. Yeah, rather than in your bubble in the country. <laughs> right. Yeah, and then like uh, in so. addition to that, like doing the things that might even seem odd to you. Like I remember when I came to Morocco, I heard about these white taxis or grand taxi system, and the idea of that seemed very odd to me. And basically, what it is is like where it has a the taxi has a set destination and a bunch of random people like six people squish into a car with four seats and you ride them and you pay a set fee and the idea of that seems very strange to me but now i take one oh like i take them a lot um and so just i guess being open to trying new things even if they seem strange yeah i have a can i tell a little story <laughs> a grand sure. um i was one uh one of my grand taxi rides and this is like six months in. Um, I was going to my friend's house in a different city in, in Morocco, so you make friends because you go to different yeah, cities in too. Morocco. Um, and I, the, the man was like, okay, come here, follow me. And so I just followed him. Well, you don't know the story, so don't listen. And um, I hopped in the back of some random gray. No, this is not gray, 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 yeah, grand no, taxi. Not it, was a, it was a grand taxi. And it was like nine people. And I paid the same price. And it was just squished up, yeah. But this is so fun, yeah. I love you guys. You just did yourself dirty. You don't um, say things like that in front of me. Okay, so my advice would be to really, really approach uh, everything with an open mind. And so nothing is bad, nothing is good, it's just different. And Morocco is so unique because it's a mix of cultures, as we mentioned before. And it's it's not, a Middle Eastern country. It's it's definitely not just Arab. There is an Amazigh culture here. There are many different influences, and so I think it's really important to think about Morocco, not to just group it into what it is as a stereotype. And if you come to Morocco, I would encourage you to act as Moroccans do. So don't be afraid to eat with your hands or mm. eat eat with bread. Try something different. You know, it's difficult at first, but even if you look silly, I think Moroccans will really appreciate you um, trying to share in their customs, as well as speak a few words in, in their dialect, which they also really appreciate because they know that how different it is from Fosha. Yeah, I mean, whenever somebody who we don't know asks us like a basic question in Derija, like the Moroccan dialect here, and maybe we answer with like one word, which is like Shwia or something, they're like, oh my oh, goodness, you speak Arabic. So like just being able to speak like you know a little, little bit in the dialect helps you they're very appreciative they're very appreciative i would just say don't um stay in your like house all the time like i don't know how long you'd be in morocco but don't stay in that area the whole time like there's so many different places like we said before that you can go to um I know Magdalene's favorite is like the beach and uh the Medina. Yeah. 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 The Mahlava. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and um like the Mahlava is a place in Morocco where um, where traditionally they make dairy products like yogurt and milk and things like that. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry guys, we gotta, uh, for us the bell just rang and we would like to thank you all. What would we say? Shukran. Shukran ma salama. Shukran ma <laughs> oh my God. There we go.
So some students are interested in uh, applying for the program. I will give you more information. It's a great, it's a wonderful program. Thank you. We could have recommended it. Yes. Okay. I have another class right now. I apologize. Shukran Jazilan. You guys, you girls and guys did a wonderful job. Your Arabic is amazing. Fusha and Amia, continue the hard work that, you've, uh, that you're doing and the good work that you will be doing in the future as well. Just remember, Arabic is not difficult. Arabic is beautifully complex. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah. That's a great way to <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good one. Sorry, I have to cut. I have to go for the, the next class. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> 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 um, Alexi, I, I don't want to um, ke I keep your students. Uh, if you have other things planned for the class period, I we've we've been together for um, uh, over an hour now. So, so I think we'll, we can go ahead and wrap up for today. Um, yeah. um, unless, you know, any final questions, um, but this has been such a pleasure and um, yeah, very impressive hearing all of your Arabic, every, everyone on this call, um, very impressive. So thank you all for joining us. It was a pleasure. It was our pleasure. Great, great job and uh, nice to, nice to meet you for sure. And hopefully we can do that again. Uh, in the future. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>